Hi everybody, I'm Joe Puente and this is Section 1 TV, a special entertainment edition. We are here at Wise Guys Comedy Club all the way up in Ogden uh, to speak with my favorite comedian of all time, Maria Bamford. How's that for an intro? Hi Joe. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's a pretty right. nice intro. Yeah, well, I try. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, Maria, you, uh, you're known mostly, uh, um, your, your thing is your voices. You do a lot of voice acting. Uh, give us a rundown of um, where people may have heard you. Basically, nationwide, <laughs> in the global marketplace. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's what I do. I'm, I'm a woman of a billion, billion, jillion, trillion voices. I only do two, really. Oh. High voice. Low voice. That's what I do. You can take my workshop. Oh. I do a weekend workshop, Catalina Island. It's $5,000. Hey. Uh, hotel is not included. <laughs> here's my current understanding of uh, geography. Uh, okay, here's Africa, right? And there's South Africa where Oprah's teaching everybody how to do makeovers. <laughs> <laughs> Here's uh, the sad part, that's the hard part of Africa, because they don't know the secret. And, uh, <laughs> and he's eating the air, we act like we're smarter than the United States, but in fact, we're just mumbling. <laughs> what? Uh, the fish and chips can stand in 1612. <laughs> and, uh, here's Eastern Europe, everybody's doing contortion and gymnastics, and all human rights laws, all the kids have to get a dessert to some. <laughs> China, we're making stuff, we're making stuff. And at least here's the church, here's the mosque, open the temple, everybody's mad! Uh, um, you're, tell me about your film work. Film work? Yeah, you've done a few films. Uh, seven years seven. ago, I was in a... <laughs> uh, almost straight to video film called Lucky Numbers. Heard of it? I think so. Uh, starred Lisa Kudrow, is that her name? No. Who John Travolta. <laughs> and uh, I played a waitress. Stunning performance. Uh, seen by myself and my mother. <laughs> then, wait for it, Stuart Little 2. Played the part of a teacher. Yes. Then, stop taking acting classes. Never booked after that. <laughs> <coughs> I don't care. I don't want to take classes. Can't wait until atheists, you know, get together and get some town achiever network going, you know? Just, you know, because it's fundamental, you know. So many friends call in and ask us, how do I testify to those I love about my lack of faith? <laughs> He finally came to me and lost his home, his job, his family, his appendages, and he said, okay, I get it, there is no God. <laughs> and I said, welcome home. <laughs> To the point, I'm a pretty big fan. Uh, okay. I've got to the point where I can I spotted your voice. I was watching American Dad a couple months ago. Oh yeah, I was on that. And exactly, I heard you, and I'm like, that's Maria, you know. Oh. And then I wait because now the credits are really small because they're c trying to have them on the bottom of the screen while they're showing you what's coming next. And I'm like, ah, there she is. Right. So, but um, we also seen you on, uh, or heard you, I should say, on the uh, Barnyard uh, yeah, cartoon. It's called, uh, the actual series is called Back to the Barnyard on Nickelodeon. Now, this is the one where the, even the, uh, the male, male cows all have, have udders. Yeah. <laughs> There's been a lot of criticism of that. Well, I, I wouldn't bring it up, except that yeah. my dad was a cattle rancher, so he I probably, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, know, I don't know why they won't take them off, because I think the guy who made it, Steve Odekirk, who was a former stand-up comedian himself, yeah. he said he thinks udders are funny, and so he wanted to put them on the mail cows, too. I hate when people try to make it like it's somebody's fault, like it's a guy's fault, the girl's fault, like, what happened? <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. No, you can tell me. What do you do? <laughs> you do <laughs> Come on. <sighs> well, he started hitting me. <laughs> with really soft stuff. And cos cosmetic wedges and cotton balls from the back. <laughs> and I'm like, I feel that. <laughs> and then he started cheating. 
especially at magnetic travel scrabble. Kicking it, kicking it is not a word. Uh, tell me about uh, the Maria Bamford show on. on it's Super a Love series it. of twenty uh, episodes of three minute show to shows, where um, I have gone mad is the premise, and I'm living in my parents' attic, which is both my worst fear and my greatest wish. And uh, so it's that, and then I'm playing all the characters in a sort of a sitcom, but you know, just seeing what's going on. And my dog is in it. Blossom is the only other actor, and uh, she she's very good. Well, didn't your mom have a cameo? In one my episode? mom had one cameo, yes. yeah, and I paid her handsomely. She was paid three hundred dollars for that role. Those songs are not good for me to listen to. Like they set too high an expectation of what love should be like. You know, like they say, "I will cross an ocean for you." If that ocean like an English speaking country that. Because at this point, my life would be difficult to learn a second language, not to mention the anti American sentiment. We'd have to talk about it. <laughs> There's so much, you know, footnote that needs to be added. Is there any possibility, because I absolutely fell in love with that, with the Murray Manfred show, okay. a, a second season? I know, I wish, I know. I th Super Deluxe, which is under the uh, corporate umbrella of Turner, yeah. which is probably owned. By uh, Time Warner. By Time Warner, yeah. which is owned by the Taliban, <laughs> and uh, they are, uh, you know, so they stopped Super Deluxe, and th and so they said no more shows, and then they said that maybe I could sell those shows on a DVD if I wanted to after my shows, and I was I like, bet. yes, I will. And then, but that's, I haven't made any more. I don't have the money to make them myself. Well, it wouldn't have to be on Super Deluxe. I mean, shows change networks all the time, right? Isn't, like, Scrubs is, like, moving to ABC? <laughs> okay, we'll move on. No, 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 uh, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I think I just feel ashamed because I don't have a solution for it. I don't know. What would you want to see happen next on the Marine Bamford show? Yeah. <laughs>